Hey guys, so it is, what is today? November 15th and there's a chance I could be pregnant. So um, we weren't trying to get pregnant or anything like that. It's just, I was tracking with ovulation tests and um, I've never in my life had a positive as early as I got one this time and it was like, oops. So um, I'm only six days past ovulation today and I'm gonna set this down here. But I'm only six days past ovulation today and there's like a very, very, very low chance that I would see anything, but I'm crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one this morning anyways. So this is the one I'm taking. It's just like a cheap one from Amazon, but they do have good reviews. So, I mean, if I was pregnant and it was detectable, I'm pretty sure it would detect it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that now and then I'll um, come back on here after it's like, the line's going across. All right, so I took the test. It's, it's down here under this toilet paper and it is loading. I set my alarm for five minutes. So I'm gonna go like clean up the house a little bit cause it's a mess after the weekend. And I'll be back to check. All right, I'm back. It's been five minutes and I'm just gonna lift this thing up and see. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> well, I took a freaking ovulation test. I almost had a heart attack because look. <sighs> Hold on, that was it. Hold on, let me do let me do the real one. I'm literally shaking right now. But it's confusing because the brand that I got the pregnancy tests are blue and the ovulation tests are pink and that just seems off like that doesn't seem right okay but now i'm taking this which is the actual pregnancy test <laughs> okay so yeah it's under there now i'll be back in another five minutes bye okay i took the right one this time so i'm gonna freaking check now jesus And yeah, I don't see anything on this one, which makes a lot more sense. And I know you guys won't be able to see, but I'm gonna show you anyways. So, probably won't focus, it never focuses on these things. But anyways, yeah, it's negative. I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys. It's literally still the same day, six days past ovulation, but <clears throat> I'm crazy I wanted to take another one. So I forgot I had one photo test that I accidentally, like I had them in my um, cart on Amazon one time because I like to have tests on hand just because I always feel like I'm pregnant even when I was on birth control and I accidentally ordered them one time when I was trying to order another item. <laughs> so I forgot I had these and I really like one photo, so I'm taking one. But it's been about seven and a half hours since the last one, so I'm sure there'll be nothing, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay, so I kind of forgot to set an alarm, but it feels like it's been about five minutes or so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look at this, which <clears throat> there shouldn't be anything, it's too early, but. Yeah, there's nothing on it. Hey guys still the same day and I know I sound crazy but so I held the test I I can't even see this in the light the light like with my own sight I can't see a line I held it in the light and like the light passed through it and I swear I can see something on there and only the craziest of crazy people searching for lines will know what I'm talking about and would be able to see it I will put a picture in and with a negative filter And a lot of you probably are like, there's literally nothing there, but there is something there. It just might be an indent. So what am I going to do? Waste one of my first responses and please ignore that hair. It needs to be washed, but I'm about to take one of these because 
Uh, there's two in there. If I need more, I'll just go get more. And this is driving me crazy. And I honestly, I probably won't see anything on these because with my son, I saw a positive on a cheap test before I saw one on these, but these are so fun to take. And like I said, if I need more, I'll go get more. So I am going to take one now. I don't know why, but first responses feel like a like a present, like a Christmas present for some reason. The way they come up all or come all wrapped up and everything. I know this is such a bad angle, but um, you're sitting on toilet paper, so I had to find a way to prop my phone up. But anyway, okay. So here's the test. Obviously, there's nothing on it yet. I'm supposed to dip it for I don't even freaking know. Let me see. Five seconds. I swear these things have gotten more and more sensitive because I could have sworn it was more than that when I was pregnant with my son. But I might be wrong. I don't know. But we're going to dip it in. So we'll see. been dipped it's running across and it's not like anything obvious is gonna show up I'm literally only six days past ovulation so yeah it's running across and I will be back in three minutes because these tests only have to sit for three minutes so yeah all right we're gonna check I don't even know why I did this because if I couldn't see the other one in person why would I think I can see this in person because yeah I don't see anything on here at all like there's nothing but I just know the longer I stare at it I'm gonna be like oh wait is that a line so I will be back the next time I test which might be later tonight because I swear I saw a line on the other one so I'll be back later okay I, I know I said there wasn't anything on here but there's something on here there is something on here and I'm I swear I'm only six days past ovulation so I don't know how this is possible but um I, I can literally see it in person but the but the thing is it's in the wrong spot like I don't know if the, the control line is too far in the center and like the whole test is wrong, like messed up. But there's literally a line there, like. No, like I can see it, I can see it, this is not good. Oh my gosh. No, like there's, there's literally a line. I'll obviously insert pictures for all the crazies like me that will be able to see it. But I can literally see it. It's not, I mean, these things, I know these things are famous for indents, but and I really don't think there's any way you're going to be able to see it on my phone, but it's like all the way somewhere. It's almost like it's too far to this, this direction, but... This thing is seems to be like too far over too. So I'm thinking about taking this thing apart, but at the same time, I don't want to. I'm gonna take it apart <laughs> because I wouldn't use this one as my announcement or as like a decoration or anything. I would use one with a obvious line, but oh my God, I'm gonna take this thing apart. I was so distracted. I forgot <laughs> to even film again, but like, yeah, I took it apart and like, Literally, I can see it. Oh, it's so clear. I'm like, my hand is like shaking, shaking, right? Like, uh, like when I try to like grab it, my hand is just shaking. Cause I don't, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't know. Um, I wish you could see, but I know every time people hold these things up, when I watch videos, I'm like, girl, there's nothing there. Even though I know they're not lying about it. It's like, I can't see it. But I wish it would focus, but like I said, it's not, it's just a, it's a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh, probably not, but 
but there's a line and I don't think it would be this clear if it was an indent. I wish I could see it on these cheap ones, but, but it was so off center. I just, at first I was like, that can't be right. Like it was so to the side, but it's not like it's a shadow or anything. It's literally a line, dude. Yeah, that's a line. That's a freaking line. But I don't want to say I'm pregnant yet because I need to see it. Like, it needs to be darker. It needs to be darker. It needs to be darker. Um, I'll probably take another one, like, at bedtime, honestly. Like, a cheap one. And I might even take the other first response because... Oh, what the heck? Okay. So, I know you're not supposed to, like, look at tests after the time or whatever. I don't really care. I always have. And anytime I've been pregnant, they've been darker. So I'm gonna show you guys, cause I swear you'll be able to see it on camera now. Now, this is insane because um, I I'm, swear I'm only six days past ovulation. I literally used ovulation tests to try to avoid pregnancy. But the thing is, um, oh my gosh. And I'll, I'll just have to make a like, video, video explaining this or like attach a, something explaining this. Cause right now I'm just like, shocked and i don't know i'm gonna have to tell my boyfriend and i don't know how this is gonna go so let me show you what, what it looks like and see if you can see okay it's freaking annoying that it won't focus but there you, you can see that not this one but this one here see that I know I can't keep my hands steady. There's literally a line. And I'm gonna take one more because I'm gonna make sure it's not like false, you know? So I'm gonna, I got more tests. I went ahead and got more because I, I don't wanna say it yet. I don't wanna say the words, but I got more tests and I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna hold my feet for like three hours. So the last time I took this one, it was four. I'm gonna wait till seven or 7.30 and take another one. And if there's a line on it, I'm gonna say it. Like I will say the words, but right now I'm not gonna say it yet. I'm six days past ovulation at the absolute most seven. I used digitals. I got a solid smiley face. That means you will ovulate within 24 to 36 hours. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. And it's kind of like, I'm not, like, this isn't funny to me. I'm so freaking nervous. I Earlier I felt like I was going to throw up. But I just don't know how to feel. Like, I don't know how to react. So, because I did not think I was going to see anything today. Like, I did not, I thought, if I was pregnant, I thought it would be at least eight days past ovulation that I would see something. Not freaking six. So, I'll see you in about an hour, hour and a half. Okay guys, same day, but I told you I was gonna do another one. So um, I did like a three hour hold, it's like seven. And I'm gonna, please excuse this, I really don't care right now. I just got out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair though, my hair's clean. But I'm gonna do another one of these and then I already took the other one out of the package, but it's this one. So I'm gonna do that. I just cannot believe this. Like. Now I'm freaking out because I'm like, um, aren't your levels higher if you're having twins? Like your HCG is higher because why am I getting lines this early? I know it can happen. It's very rare though. And um, like I said, I'm going to explain like when I got the ovulation test and or the positive and why um, I knew I was going to need to take these and all that. But I need a little bit to calm down because... My, I think my heart has been racing since I saw those lines. Anyways, there's that. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I know I look freaking crazy, but I, oh well. I figured since we're all waiting together, we can have a little chat <laughs> and I can explain things now since I'm waiting on the test. So, cause it's underneath the thing and the first response takes three minutes, three minutes, and the cheap um, test takes five. So I'm just gonna wait five minutes for both. So I stopped taking my birth control 
in like August or September because well, let me back up a little bit more I stopped I got the implant of my arm in July in July it was horrible for me I had it for over a year and I still my cycles didn't regulate I would sometimes bleed for 30 days at a time and then I would get another period two two weeks later um, sometimes I would only bleed for like eight days but even eight is a freaking lot like eight was my shortest period while I was on the implant and I had completely perfect cycles growing up like as a teenager they were literally 28 days exactly 28 days and then after having kids I would get on birth control because I didn't want to have one baby after another so pretty much was on birth control all the time and anytime I'm on birth control my body's just out of whack nothing is right nothing's normal so anyways I got on the mini pill after I got off of the next one on and once again, if you even freaking are late on one pill or if you forget one pill, I would break through bleed the next day and it would last for like two to three days and it was just getting on my nerves and I was tired of it and I said, I, I'm gonna stop taking birth control for a couple months. <coughs> I told Eric that, like he knew, he knew I was not gonna be on it. So we were being careful. I got cut off because I'm literally out of storage now because I've made so many videos today. <sighs> Anyways, I was saying we were being careful. Well, I've tracked ovulation in the past when I was trying to conceive my son. I tracked it for a couple months just to see what was my normal. And the absolute earliest I ever ovulated was cycle day 15. Like I got, it got a positive test on cycle day 14 and I ovulated on like 15 or something like that. Normally I would not ovulate till 18 or 19. One, with, when I conceived with Mason, I didn't ovulate till day like 21 or 22, which is incredibly late. But anyway, so that's what I was used to. Well, we went on a camping trip, um, like a week and a half ago, like last, last weekend, basically like 10 days ago or so, 10, 11 days, and, um, we didn't use anything, so <laughs> I get back, and, um, so, okay, let's just get this straight, we left Sunday morning, or Sunday, and we did something that day, so, we got back here and I took an ovulation test and it was like very negative and I was like, okay, great. Well, well, the next day I took a digital and I took a strip test. The strip test was getting, my, it just boom, got a bunch darker. The digital was a solid smiley face, which means you're going to ovulate with, in 24 to 36 hours. Was not expecting that. And that is why we are here today and it is time to check my tests, so I'm gonna do that. But yeah, that's just like a quick and very TMI background on why I knew I had to test. And um, let's just go ahead and look at them. Okay, it's actually been longer <clears throat> because I don't want my phone to die. So I went and deleted some stuff, but let's look and see what happens. I don't know that I see anything. I don't see anything on the cheap test, but but um it's so annoying because there keeps being like a glare on it. So this, I swear, is the last test I'm taking tonight, and I will be back and see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, finally. I know I did like a thousand videos yesterday, but <clears throat> I'm about to take a Wanfo. <sighs> if I can get it out. So a Wanfo and another first response. I'm actually confused. Like, I'm really confused because... That one, there was like a super clear line, the one that I tore apart. But then the one yesterday, I thought I saw a line when I was like filming, you know? But that was like, I can only see it in like sunlight. And it's like, it could be an indent because you're not supposed to have to look that hard. So I'm confused. Like, I'm, I don't know what to think. Because here's the test from yesterday. I have like a stockpile. Oh, dropped it in the sink. I have like a stockpile going on, but... 
like I feel like I don't know if you can see it on there it's somewhere around that area but I don't know like I don't know if it's an indent but so anyways we're about to find out because I'm about to take these okay they're covered up I'm gonna leave the room and I'll be back in five minutes oh my gosh my heart I feel like it's pounding right now but it's been five minutes so I'm gonna look literally like got cut off but um I actually I don't know I don't see anything on this one weird I know this is too early but I don't know though like I'm just confused because I thought it would be darker today so I don't really know what to think And it's like, I can't see it unless I do that. But I guess I'll just have to taste again tonight. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Okay guys, um, it is still 70 p.m. I'm back from work. I have not peed all day. I'm about to take my last one of these that I have. And then um, I'll probably end up getting more. I should have got more when I was there. But, cause I know how crazy I am. But I'm taking that and then I'm taking this. And I swear, if there's no line on it, I'm gonna be so confused because the ones yesterday were so clear. Like, I don't know, I'm just like really confused. But yeah, if there's no line, then I would guess they were both false positives, which is very, very rare. But anyways, I'll take those and I'll be back. Okay, I cannot wait anymore. It's been like not even quite five minutes or something like that, but then like my anxiety's going up, so I'm just gonna check them. I see an indent on this one, but I don't know if I see a line. And then on this one, I see nothing. I'm just confused because I feel like a day after I saw a positive, they should be darker, but I don't know. I don't see anything. So, I will just have to wait until morning, I guess. Alright guys, I'm still seven days past ovulation. I'm taking one more cheap test. It's seven, like a little after seven at night. I'm sure it won't be positive. <laughs> I just have so many tests, I might as well take them. I have a lot of cheap tests. And then I'll take one in the morning and honestly, if it's still like no line or if it's just like an indent line or whatever like which is what I think I was saying today I'll just assume the first one was an indent <laughs> even though it was so dark so it's loading right now I didn't even cover it up just because um at this point I just don't think I'm gonna see anything so you probably won't ever even see this video but I'll come back after a couple minutes when it's loaded and all that. Okay, well, there's nothing on it, so as I figured. I'll see you in the morning. What the heck, focus. Whatever, I'll see you in the morning at eight days past ovulation. Okay guys, it's officially eight days past ovulation. This is when people normally can first start to see positives. I don't know what happened the last few days. I, I mean, but it, <sighs> I'm just confused and honestly chemical pregnancy has crossed my mind but I don't really know it could have been just some kind of crazy ending I guess but I'm waiting on a test right now I'm not taking a first response because I don't want to waste them I'm just taking a cheap one and it's under there so I'll be back in five minutes all right I'm about to check it I don't think I see anything. I just, I always look way too hard, so. But yeah, I'm pretty sure if there was a line, it would be easier to see than this, so. Kinda pretty sure it's negative. 
I don't know when I'll test again maybe this afternoon on just a cheap test but I guess I'll be back later hey guys so I am eight days past ovulation and just kind of taking one last test it's nighttime but I think I know what happened now and I have super mixed emotions but I'm like 99% sure that I had a chemical pregnancy, which is when the baby or whatever, um, what's the word? Like it, they meet, the egg and everything meets, but it doesn't implant or it doesn't implant properly. So it starts to give off the hormone. You can get a very faint positive, but it very quickly goes away and a lot of people don't even realize these happen because when their period comes they just think it's just their period even though you may bleed more because of I guess extra shedding from your you know having been pregnant but and like I said in the very beginning we weren't trying to have a baby and but for some reason now I just it makes me really sad because and yeah I mean there's nothing on like there's not gonna be anything on this test i just i knew i was gonna be pregnant like when i saw that ovulation test um when i saw the smiley face and realized oops it had we had been really close to uh, me, me ovulating you know uh, i told my friend i was like i'm i just know i'm gonna be pregnant because it's so close and i wasn't wrong like i just know it happened because um i have the one test i showed you guys and then the cheap test, there's a very, very faint line on that one, which some of you probably won't even see it. And then I was looking back at this one, and I know lines can get darker and indents can show up. But this this is not an indent. This is the other one I took at six days past ovulation. And it's a very, very faint, but it's pink. But then anything I took yesterday at seven days past ovulation, there's absolutely no line. Like, unless, like, I can see an indent line if I turn it into the, like... The glare like if i glare it i can see exactly where the gray line is but this one i can see it without even having to do that and it's like it's a line i can see it i'll insert pictures some of you will probably see it some of you might not but i'll put pictures of all three of the ones that had lines on them and yeah i'm just like i feel very weird because it was super shocking and i was super overwhelmed but very very quickly you get attached and you start thinking, okay, well, this is happening, so this would be my due date. Um, what's is it gonna be a boy or a girl? Like every, you just have these thoughts, and then boom, just within twenty four hours, I kind of knew something was off because your line should get darker, not ever get lighter like that. So yeah, and I wasn't gonna post this video, but I just figure this is very, very common. It actually happens in up to fifty percent of women. It's just a lot of women don't notice it, like I said, because it's so early on. So I wanted to post it anyways because, and my voice is so scratchy. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe I'm tired, but um, yeah, it's kind of a sad thing because it's not like I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're just having to let go of those thoughts that you had of like what was going to happen, and even though it wasn't planned, it's still a baby's a baby. So. Um, that's all I'm gonna put on this video. There's, and I'm not gonna get a positive. I, I know I'm not, like, I had positives and they're gone. So, it was a chemical pregnancy and at least I didn't have, like, a pregnancy and then, like, miscarry and start bleeding in the middle of it after I saw the heartbeat or anything like that, you know? But still, um, it is sad. So, Thank you guys so much for watching, and if there was any kind of update, of course, I would make another video. But, yeah, that's it, and you can let me know if you've had a similar experience or whatever. I'll insert all the pictures now, and I'll insert the seven-day past ovulation pictures too, so you can see that there's nothing on those, but there is something on the others. And I'll put negative versions too, because it's sometimes easier to see it negative, so... Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you for next my next video. Bye guys.